Over the years, I've done over $2 billion worth of real estate investing. I own dozens of businesses, and I even own the studio space. I've built out my own event center. I'm gonna give you a little tour today, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lean in on the 17 lessons that I've learned over the years that have helped me succeed the most as an entrepreneur. The first lesson that I've learned over the years is that you need to find your niche and dominate it. That means you've got to niche down until you're doing something that no one else is doing. For me, that was getting deep in the financial space and learning to be an orator, to communicate that. One day, I actually built my own stage. And today in this very hall, I have people on a regular basis that will fly in town and actually watch me dominate in that niche. What's yours? The second lesson is to leverage OPM other people's money. Even this entire space, I had other investors come in with all of my real estate holdings. I have other investors come in, even with other businesses, other people's money. Because the reality is if you're limited to your own funds, you'll never make it too far. You need other people, you need other people's money, even the bank's money. And with that, you'll actually be able to create worthy acceleration to meet your potential. You don't wanna work for somebody else. You wanna own your own business. And when you do, your success will partially be determined by your high profit margin, which is number three. And here's what it means. When you bring a dollar into your business, how much of it do you keep? Are you like most businesses where your model says you get to keep a dime, 10 cents? Or is it a model where you're keeping two quarters, 50 cents? You pick the right business model with a much higher margin, and that just means a lot less work for a lot more reward. Check it out. The fourth lesson is to outsource and delegate. Most entrepreneurs make the mistake of doing everything on their own. They are these lone wolves and they have this belief that they can't trust people. And if you want something done right, you should do it yourself. But I got news for you. The reason why some people succeed 10 times, 100 times, or a thousand times more is because they've turned that adage on its head. If you want something done right, don't do it at all. This is number five. Create multiple streams of income even within your business. The IRS says that the average millionaire has at least seven streams of income. Why not 70? Why not more? Why limit yourself like most people do to having a single source or maybe your joint household has another person with a job so you have two sources of income? Bottom line is if you're trading time for money, that's a really big mistake. You gotta figure out how to make your money work for you so the game becomes passive, you get your time back and you can establish another stream of income. Number six, Use failure as a stepping stone. I'm amazed at how many people have this failure complex. Well, I tried it once or twice or five times and it didn't work, so it's never gonna work. And they're focusing on what didn't work instead of what they haven't learned. There is no failure when you learn a lesson. If you can produce a result, you win. But if you learn why you didn't, you also win. So focus on the learning, because if you can learn enough, you can win every single time. The seventh lesson, you gotta learn how to say no. So we go from a no world to yes, and all of a sudden saying yes over commits us, over obligates us, and we all become busy. But it also brings opportunity and potential into your world. Then you need to learn how to apply the word no as you raise your standards to find the better opportunities. And by saying no, you'll cut through the chaos and start finding the real winning plays. Successful people think in decades. In other words, don't just make decisions that create a win for your paycheck today or next month. You gotta eventually start thinking, how do I allocate some resource for the wins that will appear five or 10 or 20 years from now that will ultimately determine my real destiny and my real legacy? The eighth lesson that I wanna share with you is to take advantage of automation. And while some might think, Chris, is that like AI, artificial intelligence? It can mean that, but what I really mean is systems, SOPs, standard operating procedures, knowing how you do things. You see, if you can standardize a practice, then you can scale that practice. That means that you could train one person to do it, or you could train a thousand all at the exact same time. So standardize how you win so that everyone gets trained, everyone follows the system. Think a little bit McDonald's, and it's like, even though I don't eat there, they've got systems. And when they follow them, they win. It produces brand equity, and it becomes very predictable. Next, you have to be willing to pivot. Winners know when to quit. I used to get hurt in business because I was willing to just stick with something till the bitter end and I was doing all these tweaks, but the reality is that there was a problem with my business model and eventually I had to take my cow of a business out back, pull out my shotgun and blow its head off. 
And you know what? It liberated me to pivot into other things that became way more financially successful. You gotta know when to quit. Now, the next lesson that I wanna talk about is a commitment to personal development. Because when I take that stage, people wanna be led by someone that they respect. Personal development for me specifically means that I financially have my house in order, I've got my health in order, and also means that I have my relationships in order. Personal development means that you care about growing your mind, your emotional state, your understanding of the world. And by committing to learn a little bit more every day and step into the game of personal mastery, you set yourself apart from everyone else. And all of a sudden, you become a leader worthy of being followed. Number 12 challenge conventional wisdom. You're going to have to challenge conventional wisdom and ask, where am I in agreement and where am I not? I disagree with almost all conventional wisdom when it comes to living an extraordinary life because that's not what most people are after and that's not what society's dishing up, but that just happens to be the niche that I play in. So I've got to confront it, I've got to face it, and I'm going to be unapologetic as I do so. The 80-20 rule, the Pareto Principle, what it basically means is that 80% of your effort is producing only 20% of your results. But the good news for you and your team is that 20% of your efforts are producing 80% of your results. It's your job to figure out what 80% is not serving and the 20% that does. And if you can figure it out, what it means is that you can eliminate 80% of your work and start keeping a majority of the gains. And that my friend is a very, very powerful life lesson. Here's number 14, force work-life balance. Work-life balance means that say yes to the things that fit within the time you've allocated for work. Say yes to the things that will build your family. Say yes to the things that build your health. I've got more time than most people. And the reason why is because I force balance so that I get to have it all instead of being way too stressed out with either working too hard over here or never getting to my health or never pouring into my relationships. I got it all and you can too. Strive for perfect integrity. If you say you're gonna do something, log it somewhere and then follow through and make sure that you actually do it. Because when you become a person of your word and when your word is your bond, people trust you. And all of a sudden people wanna engage with you and people wanna win with you and people wanna play with you and people wanna succeed with you. Everyone's testing your integrity quotient. Make sure that you're striving to make it perfect. Number 16, don't be afraid to be controversial. And number 17, be ambitious, but do it unapologetically. I'm gonna tell you right now, I've got an obsessive personality, which means that when I set my heart and my mind on something, I go after it until I get it. I call it hyper-focus. And it's where I channel all of my energy on causing something, making something happen. And you know what? Anyone can be that way. And you'll stand out of the crowd and you'll look different than everyone else. It will set you apart. Check it out. If you've liked these 17 life lessons, you're going to love what I've written in this book because it actually has five rules of how anyone, you, can become financially free in under five years. Literally anyone starting even deeply in debt, if they will do these five things, they're done. You're done for life. And five years might sound a little bit get rich too quick, but I'm telling you right now, in today's modern world with the opportunities available to you, of course you 100% absolutely can. So click the link below, grab a copy of this book. Let me share with you how I earned single digit ROIs, double digit ROIs, triple digit, quadruple digit, and even infinite ROIs. These five ROIs make me rich all the time over and over again, and they can do the exact same for you. Click the link below, grab a free copy. I've shared with you my lessons and how I've built a multi-million dollar business. Now I'm going to show you exactly how I build these businesses. In this next video right here, I'm going to share with you five different ways to double your business.